What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on BNGO ticker. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this stock up. And uh, I will continue with uh, some technical analysis and with the probable outcome for this stock. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to take a part in the limited time offer from Webull and earn two free stocks valued up to $2300, just open new account, deposit only $5 and choose a free stocks. Link in my description. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video a couple of weeks ago, about a week and a half ago, and uh, we were somewhere at this point. And I've told you that we had this uh, channel, it is a descending channel, and uh, this pattern is very bullish. Usually it breaks to the upside, and we didn't hit uh, the upper border, the upper resistance, but uh, we have very good uh, touches uh, of uh, our support line. And if I make this channel just a little bit longer, it will continue to move down, and this means we have more and more chances to break to the upside. Because the lower this channel goes, the higher will be the outcome for the breakout. Let me show you this. To project the target, I pull this uh, line from the bottom of the entire structure to the top right here. And here we have uh, the uh, channel itself. And if I compared the breakout uh, point from this level, we would have about 69% uh, of potential profits. And this is our target. And if I make the same line from, the, from this point, if uh, this point will be the real breakout, so from this point to this top, we will have uh, more than 80% of potential profits. This means the lower this channel goes, the more profits we will have. And this is definitely a very good sign. So let's continue with some fundamentals of this company. And uh, let's start with the company profile. Bionana Genomics uh, Incorporated operates as a life science instrumentation company in the genome analysis space. The company develops and markets the Subfure system, a platform for ultra-sensitive and ultra-specific structural variation detection that enables researchers and clinicians to accelerate the search for the new diagnostics and therapeutics targets and to streamline the study of changes in chromosomes. And uh, I told you many times that this company has a very disruptive product. And let's continue with some numbers. Their total market cap for now is $1.66 billion. They have a revenue of $10.53 million with a negative net income of $40.54 million. They have a total cash position of $362.06 million with a total debt of only $14.87 million. And they have very, very good, uh, I have to say, outstanding current and quick ratios. And uh, their levels are 51.65 and 50.78 respectively. So, in my opinion, from the financial standpoint, this company is very stable. They have enough money, they don't have uh, income for now, they have a losses of $40 million, but they have a revenue growth of 11.93%. And this means uh, in a matter of uh, just uh, several months or maybe a year and a half, we will see positive net income. They will, this company will be profitable and this is imminent. So let me show you some positive news. First of all, this is the document. Uh, it is a 2021 uh, Medicare advisory panel on clinical diagnostics laboratory test CMS public meeting. And this meeting will take place uh, on July 28th, 2021. Uh, so in two days, we will see this meeting and let me show you what it is all about. This meeting provides an opportunity for the Medicare advisory panel on clinical diagnostics laboratory tests to publicly convene and make recommendations to the Secretary of Department of Health and Services and Administrator of CMS regarding cross-working and gap filling for new and reconsidered laboratory tests discussed during the CLFS annual public meeting for CY 2022. And let me quote you this bullet as well. Each laboratory test code under consideration will be introduced and discussed by the CDLT panel. The focus of discussion is payment of the laboratory test code, either through cross-working the laboratory test code to another existing laboratory test code on the CLFS, or to use the gap fill methodology to determine payment. This means 
This meeting will decide what type of new assays will be added to Medicare and will be added to a reimbursement program of uh, US government. And let me show you this. And right here you can find the optical genome mappings, variants by optical genome mapping and uh, other genomic sequencing related tests. On top of that, let me show you right here and other structural variants by optical genome mapping right here. So, on top of that, and other structural variants by optical genome mapping and whole genome sequencing, genome sequencing related tests. This means by nanogenomics has at least several tests that may be added to Medicare program and uh, that might be reimbursable by the US government. And uh, this is uh, definitely the long-term catalyst because uh, this document has to be approved, then Bionana has to sell a lot of uh, their subfuel systems and right after that they will have a massive uh, increase in their fundamentals and this will definitely drive the price of their stock up. On top of that, let me show you that uh, we have uh, the latest news uh, that was published on their official website and it, is, uh, it was published on July 19th. Uh, 2021 and uh, it's titled Bionanos Optical Genome Mapping for Acute uh, Lymphoblastic Leukemia Subject at the University Hospital Leuven, Belgium has faster turnaround time, higher success rates and lower cost per sample compared to traditional methods. This means this method is uh, not only better if we compare it with traditional methods, but it is much cheaper. This means Bionana Genomics has more chances to add it to their program of uh, reimbursement from US government. And this will drastically improve uh, the fundamentals of this company. So, and uh, let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. As I already mentioned, we have uh, this uh, channel and uh, usually it breaks to the upside. And on top of that, let me show you that uh, if I switch to daily time frame, uh, we can see on RSI this type of formation. And uh, let me show it to you. And it is expanding wedge pattern. And uh, you can find it not only on the price chart, but you can find it also on uh, indicators. And this pattern usually breaks to the upside with a huge amount of uh, movement. And uh, we have not only this uh, pattern on the price chart, but we also have uh, this pattern on RSI. On top of that, if we take a look on MACD indicator, we are ticking uh, to the neutral zone. This means uh, the price action is losing negative momentum. And uh, when we will see the crossover of these two lines, it will indicate that we might uh, go higher and uh, we will start to tick to the upside and this will definitely give the positive momentum to this stock. So, what to expect next uh, from this uh, ticker? Basically, if you want to invest in this company, you have to do your own due diligence and you can ladder your buys down because uh, we are on our main accumulation point and this point is uh, the Fibonacci retracement level of 0.618 and 0.65 from the very bottom to the very top. And this is very, very good uh, point of uh, accumulation your position for the long term. And let me show you that uh, our next uh, major uh, target, short term target will be this uh, high of uh, $9.19. And then we have to break all the resistances that are above our level. So. From our current price to our first short-term target, we might have about 57%. Second target might be at about 68.5% and third target will be at around 100%. So, I think uh, it is a very good uh, company to put your money in for the long term, but you have to do your own due diligence. And basically from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye.